Is there some problem with the connection? Uh, hello? Ibu, Ibu Hafsa? Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Ibu Hafsa? Yeah, I hear you. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, sir. Oh, is that any problem with you? Yeah, we're waiting for our rector to join with us. Ada masalah dengan koneksi, Ibu? Uh, nothing. We're just waiting in the rectum. Uh, because there are many participants uh, uh, call me about the connection and then do you have an alternative uh, to join this 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 mm -hmm. uh, seminar? Maybe yeah. YouTube link? Yo, I have shared the Can YouTube share? link also Facebook. Then it then. Yes, uh, one more. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Bogi speaking. Uh, see, uh, many Can you share the, the for the link. link? You have yeah. sent your link, the YouTube link to all the participants. They're waiting. Dr. Bogi is from India. Okay. I have shared. I have shared. Okay. Uh, yeah. YouTube link. I think you changed the link. Yeah. yeah. We I have shared. Yeah, you changed the link because the first one was working. Also the Facebook link. Ah, if the link is also there. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but many told me that they've got only the Zoom link. That's it. Okay. Only that's 100 it. participants in Zoom link, but they also share uh, the link, YouTube link, and also the Facebook link. Okay. Yeah. But even in the webinar room, we can see only 10 participants. And there are many more who are waiting, as uh, Dr. Vergis has rightly pointed out. Uh, yes, they just didn't see the other links below the details about our conference. The YouTube and Facebook link are also written there. Yeah. Yeah. They are indicated below. The last part of yeah. the text, but uh, others are asking me because uh, there seems to be a problem with the connection. They could not. Mm, yeah. View as, also. Uh, as the organizer has rightly pointed out, that uh, hundred participants can join in the webinar, right? What is sir? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. I think uh, so many Indian students and uh, scholars are waiting to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems they have already sent the YouTube link and also FB link, but okay. many have received only the Zoom link. It seems they have created a, a created a WhatsApp group too. They could have shared it very easily. Uh, yeah. I don't know how many of our Indian students have joined the WhatsApp group. Uh, I don't see many. But even then, yeah. uh, it can be shared there too. Uh, some have received YouTube link, but they say it's stuck. Since the program has not started, uh, they are waiting. And they thought that okay. they think that the YouTube uh, link is struck. I, to I told them, I have told a few that it's not struck. The poem, the, the, poem, the, the program has not yet started. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think at least a few I have already found it. But others don't have it, they say. I don't know. Uh, Dr. Regis, I have sent the link to your Facebook Messenger. Really? Okay. Yeah. So that you can also share it to others. Yeah. 
Welcome, Director of Al Asharia Mandarin University. Dan Ibu Rektor masuk yang keluar Ibu Nurmaina. Ibu Rektor masuk ya untuk. Masuk suara tadi, thank you melu. Masuk suara. Penyebabnya ni aja. Oh, jadi yang itu tadi waktu pun dipakai di atas, dipakai juga di bawah. Welcome, Professor Pages. From India. Welcome, Hassan Mutiasu from India. Mr. Prasanna Ode. How are you? Doctor, on me on. Unmute your microphone. We cannot hear you. Hello. Unmute your microphone. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. Mr. Muhammad Abu Hassan. Hi, Professor Andy. How are you doing? Thank you. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you, you sir. Nice Thank to meet you. you and see you. And Thank you so much. Welcome, Mr. Muhammad Abu Hassan. Welcome, Dr. Noor. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the lovely invitation. Hello. Oh yeah. Yes. I just seen it. I just seen it. Thank you so much for the request. Thank you. Such an honor yeah. to be your friend. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Funny change. I think Very we are friends now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The way we are live in, uh, on YouTube right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. We start initially. This is for us all keynote speaker. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for God Almighty who give us opportunity and healthy so we can join, we can meet together in this international conference with a team of pedagogical strategies in teaching after COVID-19. The second, of course, salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has brought us well, from the sorry. darkness to lightness with sweat and hazana. The Honorable All Keynote Speaker from seven countries from Kuwait, Philippine, Gaza, Palestine, Qatar, Bahrain, and also from Indonesia, who has part time to participate in the GRI event. The Honorable Rector of Al Sharia Mandar University, and also their participant. The National Endem of Indonesia.
Ibu Nur Hafsa, bisa dengar? Ibu Nur Fitra? Is there any problem? Yes, we... Is there any problem? Karena kenapa tidak ada suara? Banyak, banyak. Nah, opening saja, opening saja. Tidak usah ada ceremonial. Ini saya, ini permasalahan di kerana dari tadi. Langsung saja, dek. Mana saja, dek. Iya, karena sudah hampir satu jam ini. Iya, ya, langsung dimulai saja. Boleh saja, boleh saja. Atau tunggu dulu ya, Ahmed atau Bob with the uh, internet. Uh, jadi PPT-nya Ahmed sebentar saya kirim ke grup. Uh, nah nanti admin yang ini ya, PPT-nya Ahmed. Ada Ahmed di sini. Baik, oke. Mungkin Ibu Nur Fitra bisa ambil alih saja dulu. Oh iya. Kita akan mulai dari sana. 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 Oh iya. Kita akan mulai dari sana.
Okay, participant of the keynote speaker. Uh, next is welcoming speech at once the opening by Rector of Al Ashar Yahmandar University, Dr. Haji Abdurria Sabodi, MSE. Time is yours. Well. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning from Indonesia. Good afternoon from Germany. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Please be open you. And Allah merciful. His Excellencies, the Chairman of the Sharia Mandar Foundation, the Haji Muhammad Sibley, Salahuddin. His Excellency Professor Dr. P. J. Paris, MA, PhD, BED, PhDG, PGDELT, Associate Professor of English and Research Supervisor at Chris College, Autonomous Iri Najalakuda, Kerala, India. His Excellency Dr. Ah. Mat Ali Sahuni, MA, PhD, lecturer in Hawaii International Law School, Kilau, State of Hawaii. His Excellency Muhammad Mahmud Abu Hassan, EFL, teacher at Bahrain Ministry of Education, TEFL, high studies researcher, MIE, expert and a master trainer from Microsoft, and IE fellow, Skype master teacher. His Excellency Dr. Prasan S. Mote, MA, MNET, GRF, PhD, Assistant Professor in the Department of English, Adaras Senior College, Omerga, Dis Osamanbad, Maharashtra, India. His Excellency Muhammad Galal Muhammad, EFL Language, Qatar Ministry of Education and Higher Education, TEFL High Studies Researchers, My I am IE expert and master trainer and mini crowd global mentor, Microsoft Service Adoption Specialist, Global Teacher Award winner 2019, Teacher of the Year in Qatar 2019. His Excellency Dr. Andy Asifan, SPD, MPD. Faculty of Teachers Training and Education, Universitas Muhammadiyah Sidiyan dan Rapang, South Sulawesi, Indonesia. 
Her Excellencies Dr. Murmaina SPDI MPD, Faculty of Teachers Training and Education, Director of PKP Alasan Yamanda University, West Sulawesi, Indonesia. His Excellencies Professor Dr. Suwardi Endaswara and Ku, State University of Yogyakarta, Faculty of Language and Art. Chairman of Indonesian Literature Association Scholar, as well as all the participants from around the globe. First of all, thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, who has been giving us blessing and mercies, so we can gather and attend the international conference on effective pedagogical strategies in language teaching during and after COVID-19. And to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because of his guidance, we are walking on the right way now. Ladies and gentlemen, in a crisis, inequalities are likely to widen what the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic has made evident is the gap between education system that already have a robust platform of solution to, de to, to deliver remote learning. And those that don't, this gap highlight the disparities in access to electricity, to internet, and devices, while those are considered to be the main challenges, there is a whole set of additional gaps that become evident even when the basic infrastructure is available. First, COVID-19 has exposed a large digital gap in how to use technology in pedagogically meaningful way to enhance teaching and learning. Additionally, we use the educational digital gap that distinguishes between education institutions that are simply content supplies and those that can maximize learning by offering much more than access to educational materials. The latter gap high place whether an educational institution can offer well-planned and carefully selected sequences of digital learning, along with appropriate monitoring mechanism. The emphasis, uh, the emphasis should be not only on the delivery of resources, but also on generating engagement and active feedback. Ladies and gentlemen, because of that, it is critical to design scalable educational educational technology solution that can offer a good balance between the provision of educational materials, access to multi-channel mechanism, and cost and constant support to enrich the teaching learning experience. All educators are supposed to adopt flexible strategies to maintain learning in this new normal. Appropriate support and monitoring will be critical to ensure that the innovation implemented are not only in the delivery of content, but also enriching the learning experience. It will not only, only help address the crisis, but also create resilient 
institutional capacities to face future challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, before closing my speech, I would like to extend further thanks to all keynote speakers. I am grateful to the experts who have attended to share their knowledge. The Dean of Faculty of the Teacher Training Education of al Mandar University and all the committees who have prepared these countries. I also welcome all participants who have joined us. I sincerely hope we all enjoy this conference. Finally, welcome to Indonesia. Welcome to West Sulawesi. And especially welcome to Al Asriya Mandar University. Wallahu mu'afiq ila akamatari. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi Thank you very much, Mom, from Rector of Allah Shariah Mandar University. Well, you would like to use the screen of the screen. So, share the screen share ideas in the morning. It will be a full session. In the first session, there are seven keynote speakers. Share the screen. Share the screen, me. So, well, we would like to inform you that there will be 14 keynote speakers who will be delivering their ideas regarding it con session. In the first session, there are seven keynote speakers, as well as in the second session. Here we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for today, there will be seven keynote speakers presenting their ideas today. And the first is from India. And we'll be sharing uh, about the curriculum today, the keynote speakers. The first keynote speaker is Professor Dr. K.J. Farges, M.A. Ph.D., B.E.D., P.G.D.G., P.G.L.T. He is an associate professor, English and research supervisor at Christ College, India. He is an uh, M.A. in English language and literature and has a degree in education. He has presented paper in national and international seminars in India. He also resource person for conference on ICT applied language teaching. He is an advisor and consultant of Digital Language Lab. The second keynote speaker is next, Dr. Ahmad Ali Shahidi, MA, PhD, is currently working as an English language lecturer in Kuwait International Law School or Kilo, State of Kuwait. He has about 21 years of ESL or EFL teaching in multinational community. He is an advocate of social justice supporter. And the third keynote speaker is Muhammad Mahmud Abu Hassan. He is uh, EFL teacher at Barharain Ministry of Education, PEFL High Studies Researcher. He also Skype Master of Teacher and his Global Teacher Award in 2018. He ever Global Innovation Teacher Award in 2016. The fourth keynote speaker is 
Itu Ahmed sama dokter Fatah. Kedua kita ya, mendari. Itu nih, mayere. Macet terus nih, isyo. Wah, ini juga. Dokter Prasan Esmore, MAM, NET, GRV, PSB. Dokter Prasan Esmode, MAM, NET, GRF, F, PSD. He is professor in Department of English, Adar Senior College of India. He is editor and chief of Langley, an international peer review of an access journal. And he, yeah, he also, yeah, yeah, next, Muhammad Galal Muhammad. Uh, the handsome one is from. Qatar. He is a FL language, Qatar Ministry of Education and Higher Education, TFL High Studies Researcher. He is a teacher of the year in Qatar uh, in 2019. He also global teacher award winner in 2000, the same year. Yeah. He also Microsoft Search and Specialist and also he speaker at Microsoft and edX Qatar Conference. Next. Dr. Andi Aspan is PDPD. He is a lecturer in Faculty of Teacher Education, Universitas Muhammadiyah Sidenreng Rapang in Sulawesi Selatan. He's also had students and alumni affairs of Universitas Muhammadiyah Sidenreng Rapang. He received his bachelor degree or SPD in Faculty of Teacher Training and Education from Universitas Muhammadiyah Parepare. He got sandwich like scholarship in Northern Alliance University the called in 2015, of course. And now he learning culture, he is a lecturer in learning culture, social integrating 2000 now. Yeah. And the last but not least. The next slide. Uh, our keynote speaker, yeah. Only one human, yeah, in here today. Dr. Mutmaina is PDMP. She is an education expert of education faculty of Al Asharia Mandar University. She is an expert of research and development of uh, ELQ materials and literature. Her book products are English cookies, English language teaching, literature work based, and literature manual instruction for English. She is a member of Association of English as a Virgin Language in Indonesia, or TEFLIN. Also a member of HISKI. She is also a research person for International Expert Sharing Conference. Yep, there is seven keynote speakers today. Okay, next. The next event will handle by Mr. Acho Nasir, SPDM PD. I will become a moderator today for seven a keynote speaker. Mr. Acho Nasir, time is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, first of all, I would like to I'm so sorry because I use another account because uh, there is something wrong with my account, uh, Acho Nasir. So I use this uh, Nur Fitra, Ak Nur Fitra's account. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry for that because I'm looking uh, something wrong. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much uh, to Nur Hapsa as a host, as the host of who has given me a golden chance, uh, a great chance to take a part in this great event. And as I previously mentioned that we have 14 uh, keynote speakers uh, from various countries. They will present their ideas one by one. But for this uh, first, in these sessions, there will be seven keynote speakers uh, who would like to present their ideas. Okay, well, but before I, uh, we please to the keynote speakers to present their materials, uh, I would like to uh, I would like to inform that inshallah we would like to span for about uh, one hundred and twenty minutes in the uh, in the presentation sessions. Uh, thus, each keynote speaker will have a duration time for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes 
to present their, their ideas. Uh, well, next, and I would like also to inform to the all participants who cannot join in this uh, via Zoom, uh, you can also witness us in uh, YouTube streaming or Facebook streaming. So please uh, visit uh, our YouTube streaming if you can join via, uh, via, via uh, Zoom, Zooming. Okay. Uh, and also, I would like to tell one more time, one more, for the participant certificate, uh, inshallah, we, we, uh, it will be shared automatically to your email after you complete your identity uh, in the uh, registration form. Well, uh, finally, we would like to uh, please to the first speaker, Doctor Professor Dr. K. D. Fargis, MA, PhD, BD, PG, DG, uh, PG Delt. He is Associate Professor of English Research Supervisor at Queen's College Autonomous Irin Jalakuda, Kerala, India. Uh, so, Dr. Uh, Professor, Professor Dr. K. D. Fargis would like to talk about language teaching and learning in post COVID scenario. So, uh, to Dr. Fargis, time is yours, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the wonderful introduction. And uh, at the outset, I would like to congratulate the organizers, the SREM and the university, his, uh, I mean, Her Excellency, the director, and all the organizers for uh, conducting such a wonderful seminar on a very relevant theme. And my topic for the day, I being the first speaker, is what are the different ways that we can or the latest trends in language, teaching and learning, especially during and post-COVID scenario. So the whole world has changed a lot. It has transformed. And maybe we are having a new normal after Corona, that is AC. And we were till, and the, the whole uh, era will be divided into BC before Corona, COVID, and after Corona. And what would be the different uh, methods and uh, approaches that we need to follow in teaching of uh, English language, especially as a second language and a foreign language. I'm reminded of Badru's circles, where he confined the native speakers into the inner circle and the second language and foreign language learners into the outer circles which are ever growing. So I'll be concentrating on uh, uh, the particular time where we need to be uh, using different uh, latest technologies in our teaching learning process and also the latest trends. And I should say that the, the stage is set now to use latest technologies in our teaching learning process because on one side we have uh, developed latest technologies. On the other side, we have uh, the theory which is a socio-cognitive approach. So what are the changes that we teachers need and what are the transformations that our students should make in order to address uh, this uh, present uh, crisis and the new normal. I think I've, I've been made the uh, co-host so I can uh, start sharing my screen. Yes, sir? Shall I start uh, sharing the screen now? Yes. Yeah, so the topic for the day is language, teaching, and learning in the post-COVID scenario. So here, in the post-COVID scenario, how, what transformations and changes should the uh, uh, language, teaching, and learning recourse to. See, as it is said that language education or education 
is the process of facilitating learning or the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, beliefs, and habits. We all know that. But language teaching learning process comprises of language acquisition and language learning. Language acquisition, as we all know, is a subconscious process. Or it's, we can, the latest term would be non-conscious process, uh, the way that we picked up our mother tongue, our native language. And language learning, on the other hand, is the result of direct instruction in the rules of language. And the language education should facilitate both acquisition and learning of the language. Because only the acquired language will be readily available for us to speak. So naturally, language acquisition. So no, it's not only related to the first language, but it is important in the second and foreign language learning. At the same time, uh, language learning, which often uh, takes place in our classrooms. So it is slightly different from all the other types of learning, uh, different from science education, social science education, or, or mathematics mathematics education. So that's why we have a separate uh, branch for uh, branch as ELT or ELE, English language education or English language teaching or language education in general, because we don't have a separate discipline as uh, mathematics education or physics education or social science education. So and this itself is a discipline. So why such a discipline has come to existence? And uh, when we speak about uh, language uh, teaching and learning process, uh, the, the acquisition the learning process is also very important. Now, now when we speak of second language or foreign language acquisition, because in India, I mean, uh, English is the second language, whereas in many other countries like Indonesia, uh, maybe Japan, uh, and I uh, mean, uh, Philippines, it's second language, but it's foreign language. So there is a shift now in language learning from accuracy to fluency. We give more importance to fluency in the beginning, and it is said that accuracy will follow. Then we give more importance to communicative competence than structural competence. And we often give more importance to subconscious or non-conscious acquisition than conscious learning, because language for fluent communication, because now uh, with, the, with the introduction of communi I mean, uh, communicative language teaching, that is CLT, we give more importance to the communicative aspect of the language. So there, there's a big change that have come over to the language teaching learning process. See, we have the grammar translation method in the beginning, which we use for learning classical languages, like uh, Greek and Latin. Okay, and now they are often said to be in Sanskrit. Now, now they are often said to be uh, dead languages. But English is a modern language, a developing language, so naturally, communicative competence or community, because people learn nowadays English for communication. And even, uh, we, I mean, uh, it's not just imitating uh, language education, it's not just imitating uh, native speakers, but instead, language education is now uh, what you call producing competent teachers or competent language speakers, linguistic and at the same time, uh, uh, I mean, communicative uh, uh, bilinguals. Okay, and uh, and it's very important since the world is becoming a bi. I mean, uh, multilingual. And now, what is the basis of ICT? When you think of technologies, what is the basis of this latest technologies or ICTs in 